and welcome to Prestige Wrestling Violent World. We are coming your way from Spokane, Washington. Glad to be back in the pin once again. My name is Joe Dombrowski, as always, bringing you what's going to be an incredible night of some of the Northwest's absolute best and brightest stars. We're going to give you a little something of everything over the next couple of hours, including a prestige debut in the form of Jet Knight being seen for the very first time by the prestige audience. We'll see what he brings to the table in uh, a very, very difficult draw right out of the chute. I like the confidence. I like the swagger. But we'll see if he can back it up when push comes to shove as we'll meet the opponent in uh, just a matter of seconds and see if Jet Knight can live up to the hype. As you mentioned, we are in Spokane, Washington. This is Violent World. March 6th, 2020. So thankful to have you with us. We thank all of you fans watching, no matter how you've chosen to join us on what platform, for helping Prestige grow in such the meteoric way that it has over the past several months. We could not do it without you guys. Talk about somebody who has I think that ovation speaks more volumes than I would be able to someone who's run the gamut of high impact high quality high pressure challenges throughout prestige wrestling We've seen him in there with a little bit of everybody, from a Tom Lawler to a Chavo Guerrero to Sonico and Bull James and Drexel, and I'm sure he'd rather we forget about his running with uh, Kikutaro a number of months ago at the Roseland. But Ethan is Jack. Ethan is focused, and I think Ethan, you know, he's, he's got over a decade and a half in the game. He's He's not a rookie here. Jet Knight is, and that's going to be an interesting contrast as this matchup progresses. But I say that about Ethan because I think every time we see him, he still finds a new trick. He still finds a, a, a new strategy and a way to get better. And in this business, no matter how long you've been in the game, it's all about constant progress and evolution. And I think Ethan HD uh, uh, personifies that as he moves out here against Jet Knight one-on-one. -on -one. Jet Knight has uh, less than a full year in his campaign, from what I understand. Nice single leg trip in the early going. Jet Knight comes to us from the Buddy Wayne Academy here in the Seattle area. Of course, so many stars who started here in Washington, nearby Oregon, even up into Canada have used Prestige as a bit of a launching pad, so to speak, to help increase and enhance their value on a nationwide basis as Knight got that takedown a second time. Nice vertical leap overhead. Nice leapfrog as well. And Jet Knight is coming out of the blocks very confident, focused, and intense. And check out the multiple revolutions as he gets the springboard and the takedown. And coming from the Buddy Wayne Academy, it's nothing to sneeze at either. I'm sure my friend Brian Alvarez will, would be able to grace us with some great Buddy Wayne stories, but that's a name that goes back to the, the, the territory days as having a lot of clout and a lot of importance and, dare I say, pun intended, a lot of prestige in its own right. HT maybe a bit more conservative, but you notice uh, the detraction there. Ethan couldn't get the momentum off of the spring from the bottom rope. He didn't have that leverage that comes with the high risk of going overhead. But again, you adapt as you go, you think on the fly, and HD did not out quicken. 
jet, and he certainly didn't outfly him. He may have outsmarted him. It may be work hard versus work smart here. Not to say HT's not a hard worker, as he works hard to drive his feet into the spine of Jet Knight on that exchange, and certainly feel himself at this particular point in time, as Ethan could be time to remove those shackles and take a chance. Springboard with a moonsault lands on his feet and makes sure the fans are safe in the process. Many have looked at as kind of a, a gatekeeper of sorts. Somebody who's oh, been a hidden gem in this area. And if you want to survive in a wait a minute, oh, and Jet Knight went to take a chance. HD was there to cut cut him off. I was going to say, if you want to survive here in this area in this promotion, you got to be able to hang with a guy like Ethan HD and off. And Ethan got tripped up on that top rope and you could see the awkward landing. He landed on the turnbuckle, not just the pad, but the steel bolt as well. Tumbled across the ring frame, hit the edge, and then hit the concrete floor finally. And Jet Knight has created a weakness. He's created an opening. He's taken advantage of it. Got to count it too. And, and really, it can't be overstated what a tough draw this is for Jet Knight coming right out of the chute. In his prestige debut, he is facing what I think is, is almost universally considered one of the five best on the prestige roster. And that speaks a lot of, uh, a lot of ground there. When you talk about the depth that we've seen in prestige. Nice leg lariat by Knight, two count only. I like the urgency, I like the determination that Jet Knight is showing. I think he uh, wants to prove he could become a top tier player here as well. And certainly is showing to be better beyond his years. If you told me before we went on the air that uh, a young rookie is going to have his chance to take on Ethan HD, I would not expect to see the matchup develop in quite this way. That's a feather in the cap of Jet Knight. Who able to use the momentum on an Ethan HD, hit the backbreaker for an ear fall. And Ethan comes up swinging. Not that you can be surprised. Every style, every background, every experience level, Ethan HD will stand up to the challenge. He'll be glad to fight you. And somebody who has not always been universally adored, but certainly these fans have recognized that work ethic, that tenacity, Ethan brings to the table each and every time as now Ethan now tenaciously trying to fight out of that chin lock. Took the wind out of night for a moment. Pace quickens once more. Tilt the world backbreaker again. And Ethan HD's body bounced off the knee. No give on the knee, certainly, of Jet. There's another near fall. And Ethan's spine absorbed the entirety of that impact and almost a whiplash-like effect. It almost looked like Ethan got, got shot out of a moving car upon impact. I mean, there's, there's no way to look at that and, and not just almost feel it up and down your own spine. Just imagine that jolt of pain. And Jet is realizing He's got one of prestigious finest reeling. He needs to take advantage and follow through. That's what he's doing. That spinal tap. And you can you can see you can hear Ethan crying out in pain. And this this is an interesting defensive maneuver here. He's grabbing onto the leg of Jet Knight, and this takes away the mobility. And Knight doesn't know what to do here. He's not sure how to grab and grasp HD because he can't navigate the body. Now he does. Suplex into the float over. 
a near fall, and I you can see that, that Jet is is frustrated, and I'm not sure if it's towards the official for the count, Ethan for the defensive maneuver, or to himself for maybe not knowing how to adapt uh, on his feet. And again, that's the mark of a veteran, just knowing that, that that would trip somebody up and they wouldn't necessarily know right away how to handle it. Jet continues to drive the foot into that spot. And ever since Ethan took that tumble when he got tripped off the top rope, Jet has had that focus, had that tunnel vision on that particular part of the body. It has certainly paid off. Ethan sent for the ride hard, and you can see again almost a whiplash like effect. And you can again hear this crowd very lively. Very much supporting HD at night. Went for a super kick. A couple of counters by HD who comes down with a double stomp. Jet Knight thought he had a plan B, but Ethan was prepared for that as well. And again, you talk about the human game of chess, the thinking man's wrestler. We've seen HD outsmart Jet a number of times, even though Jet, I think athletically, has run away with this matchup, largely because... HD's back has been so compromised, but you saw HD take a chance. Tried to go springboard a moment ago, and Jet Knight was waiting with that drop kick. And at this point, if I'm Ethan HD, I'm using that brain capacity. I am going to be a little more physically conservative, like he was at the outset, uh, because the, the brain matter is working right now. The body wants to work, but it's given out. The brain matter is what's keeping HD alive. If he doesn't get counted out, which he almost did. Jet Knight was counting along, and again, you can tell how difficult it was just for HD to maneuver that body, and again, the frustration setting in. I think Jet is looking ahead. Jet Knight is thinking about what his career could turn into with a victory here. Championships, and main events, and Opportunities against legends. Suplex with a bridge. HD is shot to the ribs. But, I mean, Knight could almost taste this. He's close. But, man, uh, you know, uh, defeating Ethan HD is not necessarily as easy as, as defeating, you know, Bob Smith down the street. And some of these fans... Warming up to Jet Knight. We mentioned that uh, you know, he's born and bred and had his formative training here in Washington State, not too far away. And now the abdominal stretch. And this will uh, tear away at the intercostal cartilage between your ribs and certainly the torque on the, 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 the core, the frame of, of HD is not going to do any favors to that back either. Ethan knows he's got to get out there quickly. And he is able to escape, but you can see the total took on Ethan. Uh, Jet looking for the roundhouse rights, but Ethan's a, a hair quicker and caught him with the left. Right, tilt to roll again. It worked earlier, not this time. Ethan gets the inside cradle and a long two count. Nearly put Jet away. I think Ethan needed that. Ethan needs to finish this thing as soon as he can, but oh. Again, uh, easier said than done because Jet has controlled much of this matchup, and Ethan quickening the pace as best he can. He's not running full speed. He was able to roll him in the go. He got all the impact he wanted on that drop kick, however. And it's time, uh, times like these, you need the adrenaline to really come into play. And you need to make the most out of every maneuver. Oh. I think I think Jet Knight uh, knew that the back would give out of Ethan and. Oh. 
The cutter countered. Into the standing shooting star. Could this be all? Oh. It was almost like Jet leapt onto the back of Ethan. And that extra torque, that extra that extra bend that maybe Ethan wasn't expecting as he tried to maneuver Jet uh, made it more difficult for Ethan's back to support that weight. And that's a very, very um, intricate leverage move that you're not going to get this young in the game. So I, I, I give props to Jet Knight for, for thinking on his feet like that in a manner of speaking. Standing side switch now as both men may be looking for a knockout shot. Springboard. Ethan could jet of the rebound. Hook of the leg. Two count. Only two. And you can see the, the physical exertion and certainly the mental exertion and the body language and the faces of both these athletes. Ethan looking to take a chance, but he hesitated. Maybe he was looking for approval. Maybe he was trying to psych up uh, himself for the, the, the back pain that they followed. But amazing vertical leap again by Jet to, to catch Ethan. And now for the hurricane right out to the top. Roll through into the frog splash. Knight showing the mobility. Upset coming. Ethan barely out in time. Uh, again, you look at Chet Knight, who is seeing this quite accurately as a potential career changer. And you can hear the respect. A lot of these fans maybe didn't know the name Jet Knight. But they're getting a crash course. A little rope of dope action there. A little fancy footwork as well. It's hard to hit a moving target, especially when it's difficult to move yourself. Knight is a step ahead here, takedown. And Jet connects with a DDT. Ethan is motionless. This could be all. Oh, no. Ethan HD at the count of one. Defiant and ready to fight as he always is. As Chet Knight gets a. Another very unpleasant reminder as to the level of competition waiting for up and down the prestige roster. And their heads may have collided. Both men had an awkward collision and are both feeling the effects of it. Off the chair into the room with a cutter! You gotta be kidding me! Upset here! A long two count! But Ethan still shows life and. Well, I'm not gonna argue with those descriptors. Jet Knight signaling it's time. I think he's. He's felt he's overdue at this point. But uh, many men have un underestimated Ethan. And they've met fates similar to that. Great dexterity on the high kick. And that traps Jet on the top for a moment. Is it time to fly? 450. Oh, Jet tried to catch himself, but he couldn't. He tried to land on his feet, but couldn't change the rotation in time. He gets a roll-up. 
HD steps to the back of the head. He has done it. What an incredibly hard fought contest this was. What a way to kick things off here in Spokane tonight. And any of these fans who maybe have not been here to one of these prestigious events in the past, man, they realize in a hurry what they're in store for. I'm going to give it up to Jet Knight. He wrestled an incredible matchup, especially for a rookie, for somebody who we have not seen on the prestige radar before. And in my opinion, he, he over-delivered in many, many ways, but uh, there was no shame in being defeated by Ethan HD, and you can see that back is going to need looked at. It's going to need attention. It'll be back to the drawing board for Mr. Knight, but it's a victory for Ethan HD and this incredible way to kick us off here at Violent World here in Spokane. What a match. We're just getting started.